Now it is my honor to present two individuals whose names we carry with pride on our school, Ms. Tracy Wilson Morning and Mr. Alonzo Morning. Job well done. Give yourselves another round of applause. <laughs> you know, we stand before you humbled. We don't take this responsibility lightly. You know, I think I believe that our story is a, a great example of how good God is. You know, Alonzo coming from Virginia. Uh, was in foster care, me, I used to live down south in Goulds, and all those years ago, we had no idea that this was God's plan. We want you all to look at your lives as you can plan anything you want, you can create anything you want, but you have to know that God's plan is bigger than anything you can describe for yourselves. You know, at your age, I believed that life is about everything that I wanted to do. I believe that college was about what I wanted to study, what I wanted to be. And I am at a place I can stand before you and honestly say that life is about serving others. That's what we're here for, to make a difference in someone else's life. I encourage all of you, all of you, do what's in your heart, whatever you're passionate about, that will lead you to where you're supposed to be. And know that whatever it is, it's to make a difference in someone else's life. You all have the power, and I don't even know that you realize that yet, to affect change. Each and every one of you, with what you decide to do, will affect change in this world. It'll start in your community, and it'll expand beyond that. One thing that I would like to encourage and uh, kind of demand all of you to do and to be is to be registered to vote. Registered to vote. You know, I know you think, of, I know 16, we thought that was the driving thing, that was the big milestone. But when you turn 18, that power that you have in that opportunity to make a choice, that's the biggest decision you can make at this point in your life. Participate in that decision. We need you to participate. Because I remember at your age, I didn't vote until I was in my 20s even, maybe even later than that. Uh, but you have to participate. You have to do things different than us. You know, I always say that, uh, my mother always told me since I was little, Tracy, if they can keep you uneducated, they can control you. Think about that. This is your journey. This is your walk. Alonzo and I are very blessed to be a part of this whole experience. But it wasn't until we had children of our own that we had to educate our own children that we saw the challenges that it comes with educating our children. And then with our youth center in Overtown, where we saw two out of 12 graduating from high school. Think about that. Two out of 12 count amongst you all. That's not right. That's how you control people. You all are at the point in your lives where those, it's all about you creating those opportunities to make a difference. And I'm telling you, those blessings will come. For me, I had no idea how I was getting to college. My mother cleaned houses all my life. I had no idea. But it started with the power of my words. I knew I was going to college. I knew I was going to college. And when I'm telling you, when you're prepared to receive those blessings, that's just how it works. 
Start with your words. Be mindful of how you speak about yourselves. Be mindful of how you speak about each other. We live in a world where everything is influenced by social media. Don't waste your time reading senseless things that don't feed your soul. must participate. Do not take that responsibility lightly, ladies and gentlemen. Do not. It's imperative that you participate. I know you want to have fun and celebrate. You can do that too. I learned the hard way. You can go to college, have a good time, and still good, get good grades. I didn't realize that until much later, but still, handle your business. That's what I say to our children. We have three children, our oldest can't believe it is a junior now in college. Yeah. Crazy. You mentioned, our president mentioned how fast time goes. You see how fast these four years went? I'm telling you, it gets faster. <laughs> it goes faster. Your parents can tell you that. So don't waste time on things that aren't feeding you, that aren't, aren't nourishing you. Don't waste time on things that aren't feeding your soul, your mind, your energy. Please, I, I, I stand before you begging that you participate in this life. Because before you know it, it'll be like that. It'll be like that. And you don't want to spend your time saying, I shoulda, coulda, woulda. You have the opportunity. We're relying on you. We as parents are relying on you. We as citizens are relying on you. Whatever it is, speaks to your heart by all means. Follow your passion, live your purpose. I know Alonzo and I say that all the time. That's what life's about. And that's all I got, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you all. Take a few seconds. I want you to stop and take a few seconds and 
Think about your passion. What could that be? It may be music, writing, and driving, teaching, and helping others. It may be sports, math, science, dancing, uh, cleaning. You know, anything that gets you excited about the mere thought of Anything of significance that was accomplished in the history of our world. The individual individuals that took, they all took a passionate approach and accomplished. My last two pieces of advice. Become a lifetime student. My, my, my wife alluded to the fact that, that you never stop learning. Never lose your appreciation for learning and taking in information. So many kids, so many of you all are in a hurry to grow up, you're in a hurry to drive, you're in a hurry to eat and drink, and you're just in a hurry. And then when you get out of here, you try to figure out a way to get younger. Trust me. <laughs> Ask some of your parents. <laughs> but be in a hurry to learn. We want you to be in a hurry to learn and understand the importance of gathering all the information, arm yourself with all the information possible. Uh, because life has options, and you create those options with the decisions that you make. So, the more you educate yourself, the better decisions that you make. Your appreciation for learning, that approach will help you stay prepared for whatever life presents you. My third is, never stop giving. Never stop giving. Always remember that we are all here because of someone else's contributions. We didn't, we didn't get here by ourselves. So it's up to you to keep the cycle going. You're here because of the contributions of your loved ones that are here to support you. They spent the time and the long hours of working to make sure you got to where you are today. Keep that cycle going. Keep giving. Give back to your community. Volunteer your time. Give back to a charity of your choice. I pray to God that you all have long, positive, productive, and fruitful lives. So I want you to leave with me some, some final thoughts to incorporate into your journey. I want you to dream big. I want you to one day fall in love. Believe in magic. <laughs> Be creative. Spend time with people you admire. Never give up. Do what you love. And one of my favorites, eat great food and spend quality time. <laughs>